This is the Friday afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for September 7th. I'm James Spann getting set for some significant weather changes this weekend. So let's get in there and talk about it. We'll start with some sky cam shots around the network this afternoon. First off, coming from Cheehaw State Park. That's always a nice place to be, especially when a cold front blows through and the north winds begin to bring in that lower dew point air like we'll see on Sunday. Uh, the sky there partly sunny. There's a look at the Tennessee River at Decatur. Sky mostly sunny there and way down south. That's the big old ship at the end of Mobile Bay up there at the northern tip, the battleship USS Alabama. The sky is uh, partly to mostly cloudy there. All right, our trough is evolving as expected. You can see the energy coming down through the upper Midwest. Down below that, the cold front uh, passing through St. Louis and Kansas City at mid-afternoon, right on time. And ahead of that, some pretty active storms. We'll keep an eye on those as well. But you can see the difference in the temperatures. Uh, you can pick out that front very easily. Uh, nice and cool with 50s and 60s behind the front. But down here, low 90s, pretty toasty out today. There's the convective outlook uh, for the rest of today and tonight. The standard slight risk from uh, Tulsa and Little Rock up to Cleveland and Erie, Pennsylvania. That includes Memphis and Louisville, Indianapolis and Cincinnati. Uh, but it does not include any part of Alabama. The storm should be in a weakening phase as they move in here early tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow, look at that moderate risk up there in the northeast. That will include New York City and Philadelphia, Atlantic City, uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut. Slight risk down through North Carolina. And down here it says CTEX. That means just a 5% chance of strong storms over the southern half of the state tomorrow afternoon in advance of the front. But clearly the better dynamics are way up north. Rain, again, not that much. Uh, it looks like we'll get one half inch or less around here, mainly tomorrow morning. We'll check the timing here in just a moment. Tropical weather. Leslie, now a tropical storm. Michael, a hurricane. Both of those are moving north in the Atlantic. They're not going to bother anybody. Uh, Bermuda can breathe easy now as Leslie should pass well uh, uh, east of there. In fact, there's the uh, track of Leslie passing well east of Bermuda uh, Sunday. And Bermuda's out of the cone. And Michael just uh, it was born in the middle of nowhere, and it's going to die in the middle of nowhere. Uh, of course, we're watching that uh, old ghost of Isaac just hanging around, man. Won't go away. Uh, there's a low-level swirl down there, but the storms are not near the center. Uh, there's some uh, shearing going on down there. Still, some chance something tries to form, and if it does, it's going to move east, uh, affecting North Florida. Some of the models try and bring it up to tropical storm strength, but one way or the other, it's going to stay south of here and mainly just be a rainmaker for places like Jacksonville, Tampa Bay, and Orlando this weekend. All right, let's check the GFS. This is tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Nice, cool trough at 500 millibars over the east. Down below that surface, cold front moving through. Wind shift around to the north. What about the timing? All right, let's get in there and take a look. This is uh, uh, tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Central Time. You see that weakening band of showers moving into the Tennessee Valley. There could be some thunder as it passes in here, but I don't expect any severe weather. We'll go to 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. You can pick out that front. It should be uh, pretty much, oh, from about Utah to Alabaster to Anniston. And I think most of the showers should be along and south of that line by 1 o'clock. So for really both the Alabama game and Tuscaloosa and the Auburn-Mississippi State game in Starkville, uh, I guess you could still say there's a slight chance of a stray shower during the first quarter at both game sites, but the bulk of the showers should be before the games. Tailgaters, yeah, you'll have to dodge raindrops tomorrow morning. I don't think it'll be heavy. Don't expect any thunder and lightning. And But again, most of the showers should be over by kickoff time in Starkville and Tuscaloosa, except maybe a stray shower in the first quarter. And then by uh, 7 o'clock tomorrow evening, all the activity way down south. Things will look great for the uh, Jacksonville State home game against UT Chattanooga. Um, humidity start to come down. at nice north breeze kicks in. Sunday, just absolutely gorgeous. It's cool, dry, continental air takes over. Uh, you know, we have seen uh, some of the models bring in temperatures in the 50s here, and uh, the current NAM is showing 56, the GFS showing 58. Yeah, we'll be in the 50s Sunday morning. High only around 80. Nice north breeze, low humidity, and that's going to be the formula for next week. There's Monday. I think we'll be in the 50s to start the day. We'll be up in the low to mid 80s every day next week. There's Tuesday, and we're going to run through each day, and they'll look the same. There's Wednesday, 
Thursday of next week, we're dry. And even a week from today still looks dry. So again, for those of you that have needed that long dry spell, you've got it next week, starting Sunday, and a good chance no rain at least through Thursday, maybe through Friday. We'll check the end of the forecast on September 23rd. Uh, the core of the westerlies are way up north. That's not a, a cool look. In fact, that's kind of a warm look and pretty quiet, if that happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Week stream video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. Uh, Brian Peters will pick up the videos tomorrow and Sunday. The man that looks like Colonel Sanders. And if you can, watch us on ABC 3340 at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless.